I prefer it to written tests because you have to remember to take paper home and if it's on the internet then you just log on at home and it's easy. Not a lot to remember. Yeah, I've, got, I've improved quite a lot in world history because of it. It sort of combines learning with the sort of advances in the digital age, I suppose, because I imagine it's what everything's going to go on to in the future, so the sooner you get started, the better, I guess. Anybody who says that the use of a VLE is going to save you time in the short term is talking baloney. It ain't going to happen. At Queen Elizabeth School in Kirby Lonsdale in Cumbria, teachers and pupils have been using a VLE called Moodle for a couple of years now. We'll see how it's used to teach English, food technology, physics and in the school's reading club. OK, so what we're doing is looking at Act 3 of the Jacobean Revenge Tragedy, Tis Pity She's a Whore. And I've set up a series of discussion forums, each one of which covers a particular theme of Act 3. I've got a Year 12 English Literature A-level class, and I just said that I didn't know anything about it much, so I was going to be experimenting that they were there to, to help me do that and that if at any stage they had suggestions of things that I could do that they thought would be of benefit, then we'd have that kind of open relationship about it. And with a class at that kind of level, it's really fun the to have them make their comments and to sort of explore some of the challenges of the, of the new medium together. The students' postings on the site form the basis of the class discussion. And I think that once he's done that, since it's a private matter between two individuals, he is then free to make her life better. And yes. the way he sees he can do that is by having her married off. I think it's going really well. I'm really excited by it. I'm not just sure they're quite as excited as me. They probably take it more for granted. I mean, at the end of the day, it ends up being homework for them, you know, and I have to acknowledge that. For me, it's, it's looking at inventive new ways of doing things which I've probably always done as a teacher of literature but I've always felt that there were probably ways in which it could be done better. Because I've only read this very, very quickly late last night, but I was quite struck by, because that's when it was posted, of course, late last night, um, but I was quite struck by the comment you made about not thinking that characters are necessarily evil. Well, with English, it is really helpful because there's a lot of discussions of ideas, and when you're at home and you're trying to do an essay, you can read through other people's ideas and thoughts and you can think, oh, I never thought of that, and then you can use that with your own um, work. There are going to be some people who do like to opine more than others and they tend to monopolise conversations and discussions. And there are always in class those students who okay. find it much more that difficult to formulate their thoughts as, as quickly as others or who are just simply more shy and less forthcoming with their discussion points. And I'd always thought that if there was a possibility of using a medium which would allow people to all contribute to a discussion, that that would be potentially a really powerful resource as people were working their way through a set text. Well, last, last point on this then, Nathan. I mean, I think the friar does portray the uh, Catholic Church in a very bad light. I mean, towards the end of a play, he's been deceptive, manipulative, he's been very desperate and rather selfish. At the beginning, I really didn't like it, and it, it was scary and, like, how to load, load what I've done onto it and stuff, I was a bit like, Ugh. but I really like it now because there's loads of clever people in the class and I just feel like sometimes in the class it's a bit scary to say things if it's wrong, but I just feel like on here you can put things on and it's not as much pressure almost. We have to recognise that students spend an awful lot of time outside of school on computer. They are probably communicating with each other more than any other generation outside of school has, has, has ever done before. And if we can get that kind of inclination which they have um, generated into their enthusiasm for their, for their work, so that communicating with each other and with their teacher is something which is as enjoyable as the other forms of communication they have outside of school, then I think we're on to a, a real winner in terms of pupil learning. We 
created some word banks for them using what's called a wiki, which means that you give them a set of words and if the student thinks of another word, they can add it in and it becomes part of the data bank. Secondly, we wanted to develop the student vocabulary in food and they looked at defining words in student speak, taking photographs, recording sound bites themselves so that the students have access to student-led vocabulary, which means that there's a greater understanding. Plus, we've created some games where you can educate or develop spelling skills so they can hear it, they see the lettering, they see the words, and then they can hopefully develop the vocabulary. For me, it's enhanced learning. Um, it hasn't replaced what we do already in the classroom. It's enhanced learning because students can find a way of increasing their presentation skills, increasing their vocabulary, increasing their knowledge of food in the right context, which is obviously healthy eating and, and good skills. And that side of it's not really lesson-based, that's more home-based, you know, fun-based, maybe using an educational tool instead of a game tool. Carol was new to VLEs, so the local authority IT support organisation, Clio, came in to hold her hand. Well, what, I'm doing, what I'm doing with my department is I'm, I'm doing a training just after half term on what I'm doing. Yeah. I came in and basically gave Carol a very quick demonstration. Obviously, she's seen this around the school, but this was specifically for her. What did she want from it? And what she wanted was to help her students make the most of their time in the classroom and to avoid faffing around with worksheets, risk assessments, safety plans, and all her paperwork. So the first thing we could do is put all those sheets online, not just for children to download, but to fill in online. So it's gathering all the resources together, it's saving learners time, giving them the resources they need, and um, making, so therefore making the most of the time in the classroom. Do you use yeah, the Moodle to do this? Use the only thing we need to do in this is develop it to this, the next stage. Okay, we can do that today. Add the bits in, just the reminder shots in the bottom. Yeah. We need to move this box a bit bigger, yeah. make the risk assessment smaller. Yeah. Because Absolutely. what we're finding is that they're using this all the time yeah. whenever they're doing it. And Olivia's one who uses it a lot. And she does the, she does the evaluations in the same way. To make it easier to work, things yeah. like that. It's marvellous. It's really nice to see something that we've discussed actually being used. Yeah. We've seen it all the way through. Clio can give us a strategic direction. But more importantly, on a day-to-day -day basis, they can give us experts who will come and work with our teachers. That kind of hand-holding with a third party is a really good way, not just of getting things going, but giving this activity a kind of professional legitimacy. Physics teacher Shane Lynch uses the VLE to deliver tests to his pupils. I can see uh, at a glance uh, the whole class, how they've how they've got on with the test, what areas they've struggled with, what areas um, they've, they've done well in, and then I can use that information to focus maybe revision lessons in the future. Also, I can look at an individual's performance, how that particular pupil has got on, where they've struggled, where they can improve on, what they've done well. Some pupils have uh, really found it very enjoyable uh, trying a different way of learning, I suppose it is, uh, an alternative to maybe the standard written homeworks and so on. Once you get onto that, you click onto uh, topic test electromagnetic waves, okay? Um, and then we work in silence answering, answering that. It's very user friendly. Um, it's easy to set up questions and quizzes, which I've been doing a lot with this group and my other year 10 group. And I'll stick up what kind of scores people are getting on the board now. So we've got Olivia there and 89% so far. We've got four people submitted. Uh, it's a lot easier because you know what mark you've got and you know what you've got wrong so you can improve it. I sort of preferred it to written, written tests because, well, with the other ones, you're able to do it at home. And so there wasn't like the stress of doing it in the lesson. So you could just sort of do it at home, like listening to music and stuff like that. The first thing I did was talk to Mark about how we could use it for one of our reading clubs. Um, at this time of year we do a spellbinding book award with our year 7, 8 and 9 reading groups where they have to look at 10 different books, read them, review them, discuss them 
and then submit the school's top three. And that was quite difficult for us to do it across three different year groups and therefore three different reading clubs. So our initial discussions were how we could set Moodle up to make that process easier and get three different groups talking to each other without them all having physically to be in one room. And I think that the longest process was getting my head around what I wanted to do. And once I'd done that, the actual setting up of the whole thing was quite easy. It saved me an enormous amount of time. Logistically, trying to get 40 students together at the same time to talk about 10 books is almost impossible. It's space, it's time, it's other commitments that they have in school. It's also that whole thing of, would a boy in year seven want to talk to a girl in year nine about something they may have both read? And it offers them that anonymity that maybe they wouldn't necessarily have. So they can say their opinion and then walk past somebody down the corridor and not have any fear or nervousness about what they've said. Because we're being drawn into it, like she's been drawn into the sea and she wants to know what's happening and how it's happening and what's it like there. And it just draws you in and it's like you're being, you are suffer and you just want to know what's happening and what's going to happen and what is happening. So you're happy to carry on talking to other people through that discussion group? Yeah. But you give an idea as to... Admin-wise, it's an enormous amount of time because you set it up and that's it. So rather than it being an extra workload, it's actually reduced the amount of workload that we would normally have running this at the same time as the reading clubs. It's a great way of engaging, particularly boys. It's quite cool to use a computer. It's not quite so cool to read. I have a really core cool group of boys who do an awful lot of reading but who aren't particularly good at talking about it out of the reading club environment. And I found that they are the ones who particularly like using the discussion okay, forums. And some of our more shy girls who ne might not necessarily say something during a reading group will express an opinion because of that sense of anonymity. In person, people don't usually talk to each other, but in Moodle, you can talk to each other without anybody judging you or just saying, oh, you shouldn't be talking to her. So it gets people talking, not physically, but in word, and it just brings people together. It can be quite intimidating, but if, if your IT teacher tells you how to use it, then you can get used to it really fast, and after that, it's really simple and it all explains itself. I think um, it, make, it makes me read different types of books which I don't usually read, and there's always good discussions every week. The decision on which VLE to choose is a big and complex one. We'll be looking at that in the other programme in this unit. But the advice from Queen Elizabeth's, which has more experience of a VLE than most other schools, is to make a start as soon as practical. I think I would advise people to, to, to get, dip a toe in the water and get going as soon as they possibly can, with the caveat being that you probably do need some kind of special person at the heart of it all who, who has really got a torch for learning um, as, a, as opposed to a torch for technology. I have been quite astounded at how very quickly the whole medium has been embedded into the life of the school. Be clear that the most important thing ab about a virtual learning environment is the word learning. Um, just see it as a natural extension of all the various aspects of school life which are contributing towards an enhancement of learning experiences for, for young people.